so it's currently the beginning of January and Petra and Zavi are about one year and four months old at the moment. Uh, we had a conversation with the vet the other day um, and he is particularly concerned about Petra's mouth. Now I'm going to do a whole separate video all about Maine Coon and potential dental problems that you can get with Maine Coon. It is a very well known thing that Maine Coons have terrible problems with their teeth and their gums and it just so happens that our poor Petra has got one of these problems at the moment. So the diagnosis that the vet has given her is juvenile gingival hyperplasia. So you had to say that slowly because it is just such a mouthful but this Gingival hyperplasia basically just means that her gums have massively overgrown and to the point where they're actually covering up a lot of her teeth and apparently this is some sort of allergic reaction which occurs around the time of teething um, so she's probably had it for quite a long time now because they teeth at around six months old and she's well over a year now so it really should have been picked up before now uh, but unfortunately, because of the whole COVID business and being in lockdown and probably the timing of us having our baby at the same time, it just went a little bit under the radar and she hasn't actually appeared to be that unwell with it. The first sign that there was anything wrong with Petra was that she didn't seem to be grooming herself properly and she was becoming quite matted. And so we would help her with her grooming and sort the mats out for her, but then she would just reaccumulate them over the course of the next week. And we also noticed that there was quite a lot of dandruff in her fur, which meant that she obviously wasn't cleaning herself effectively. I then noticed that she was chewing quite a lot on my son's toys um, in a way that she would have when she was teething back when she was a small kitten um, but this time that blood was being left on the toys so obviously her gums were bleeding. I couldn't really get a good look in her mouth myself so what I did was I took her to the vet when she was due her annual vaccinations which was you know around the same time that all this was happening and they had a look and they actually decided that she needed to see a dental specialist and so that's who we've been talking to um, in the last week or so. I did try to get some footage of her teeth and her gums for you but um, I'll try and put a picture up on the screen but um, yeah no it's very difficult to get um, a, obviously an image of her mouth because it is quite painful for her and she doesn't want us playing with her teeth at the moment. So he had a look at Petra and he said apparently this can be something that is caused by a virus called the Khaleesi virus and also that if one of your main coons has it it's quite likely that another main coon would have it too so he wants to have a look the vet wants to have a look at her brother um so the plan is that in two weeks time petra has been booked in for a procedure where she goes under anesthetic they clean her mouth and her gums under anesthetic and then they're going to cut back the gums and take a look at how her teeth are doing and if there's a, any problems um, they might have to remove some of her teeth, but fingers crossed um, it hasn't got to that stage and that it's just a case of stripping back the gums and giving it a good cleaning. And then he said that the plan is that it could take three to four years actually for this to get better and that she's going to need to have regular cleanings at four to six month intervals depending on how she's doing. Um, it's going to be a long old journey to get her better and very expensive too very expensive like each time it's going to be five six hundred pounds so thank god that we got pet insurance we got lifetime pet insurance that had dental cover and i am so grateful because we just could not afford that especially because if zavi has it too and he's going to check zavi he's going to have a look in his mouth on the day that he does petra's operation and then book Zavi in um, a couple of weeks later for the same thing if he needs it. So again, fingers crossed that Zavi has got away with it and he doesn't need, need anything doing because that would be quite stressful if we had both of them having an anaesthetic every four to six months for the next three, four years. That would, that would just be horrible. As well as the anaesthetic, our vet has recommended a number of products that he wants us to start using in order to provide dental care. It's got past the point of us being able to attempt to brush their teeth and to be honest we weren't succeeding with doing that anyway. Um, so we have now purchased these products so I'm just going to show them to you 
and explain um, what they're for and how we use them. So I'm just quickly going to show you a couple of products that um, were actually uh, recommended to us by our uh, veterinary dental specialist. Um, and I just happen to have got these off of Amazon uh, because here in the UK, um, that is the place where I could source it the easiest and the cheapest, especially during COVID lockdown, which is um, our current situation. Um, I think in the US, um, you can definitely purchase MaxiGuard from Chewy.com. Um, I'm not sure about the fuck off powder. Um, but I will post links um, to both of these um, down in the description um, if you just care to take a look at that at the end. Um, so first of all, we started using the plaque off powder. Um, so this is a powder that you just put onto their food. So our cats are currently having wet food. Um, so if I just open this up for you, you can see that it is a powder and it comes with a little scoop and so you don't use very much at all you just use one scoops worth a day but that is per cat and both of our cats um, share their food so what I do is I just when I make their food bowl up in the morning I just put two scoops worth in with that and shake it around a bit so that they don't notice where it is and try and avoid that patch of of food but generally it goes down quite well they don't really notice it so that is plaque off powder and so that powder as it says in the name it works to combat tartar plaque and bad breath um, which is a problem we're currently dealing with with petra so here we have maxi guard so it's an oral cleansing gel and i think you can also get it in an oral cleansing wipe version as well but then again, you need to actually take the wipe and open the cat's mouth and wipe it around the mouth. So I, I didn't want the hassle of that. This cleansing gel is really easy to use. So this is what it looks like out of the box. Um, and basically you just take this little cap off, you put it in the side of the cat's mouth and just give it a little squirt and then put it in the other side and give it a little squirt. Um, it's tasteless um, and basically they just you know, they just put it in their mouth, chomp on it, and that gets it around all of the teeth. Um, and it just cleans the mouth for them and freshens their breath. And this in particular, this brand MaxiGuard, all of their products are apparently the best products that you can get for cleaning your pet's teeth um, without use of a toothbrush, which we all know is just a massive faff. And I don't know how they expect anyone realistically to be able to clean their cat's teeth at all let alone every day so i would really recommend both of these products are good this one in particular this is the one that our dental specialists loved um so like i said i will put links to both of these down the bottom for you to take a look at so one thing that Ivette really wanted us to do was to put them on a dental care um specialist diet um and this is the one that he recommended this was his preference so it's the hills td dental care and he has reassured us that this will be okay with their sensitive stomachs because they were previously on a food specifically for sensitive stomachs that's petra trying to get involved in the video again She's been a bit of a bit needy the last couple of days. I don't know if it's because her mouth's hurting. But okay, so yes, this is a specialist dental food. Um, I purchased this from Zoo Plus. That's where I get all of my uh, pet food from at the moment. And I will put a link to it in the description below for you to have a look at. Um, so there were two options. We could either go for this one. He said this one was his preference or the other one that he suggested that we get was the Royal Canin Dental Care. Um, but there was some reason that I didn't get that one. I think I think it was maybe more expensive. I, I don't know. You'd have to you'd have to check. Um, but this this was definitely the one that he said was his preference. So this is the one that we've gone with in the first instance. If this upsets their stomachs then of course we will um, try and wean them onto the Royal Cannon one instead.